Ni siku nyingine tena kwenye Smart Talk, mazungumzo ama maongezi maridadi. Uh, hii ni, hiki ni kipindi ambacho ni kipindi kipya kwanza by the way, hii ni episode ya pili na lengo la Smart Talk ni kufanya mazungumzo maridadi na watu wa fani mbalimbali. Last time tulikuwa tunazungumzia masuala ya branding, masuala ya endorsement pamoja na influence influ, influence. Kuna wale watu wanaitwa influencers. Lakini leo uh, tuna mjadala na washereheshaji, ma MC. Ma MC wa taifa kuweka kuweka sawa <laughs> sababu hao wanajulikana uh, Tanzania nzima. So nianze kufanya introduction mimi mwenyewe kuonesha yeah. ni jinsi gins, gani ambao nawajua vizuri sana. Okay. Uh, kushoto kwangu pale ni Anton Luvanda, wamfahamu vizuri kwa jina la MC Luvanda. Au sio? No. Uh, katikati hapa ni Adeline Mushi lakini jina la kazi anajulikana kwa jina la uh, MC Lina. My check one two. Ah, wow. <laughs> one two one two. Kulia kwangu hapa nina uh, naomba nikwambie kwamba ndio ni, ndi, ndi, MC anayepiga pamba kuliko wote. Au unakosea? Yes no okay. Ina Gotta be. Got what? Uh, okay, okay. I got yeah. it. Eh? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, so ni watu ambao microphone wamezizoea ndio maana umeona hivyo. Ana jina lake ujue hujamtaja. Hilo sema Lina. Napenda nisiende huko atalisema mwenyewe kwa sababu mimi huishiaga tu hapo. Bali kuna lazima. Bas, nilichomekea tu. All right. Lila shule ni kwetu lile. Nani? aitwa Godfrey de Gratias de Garabam. Ah, hey, unaona sasa si, yani najua ni watu wachache sana wanajua hata hilo yeah, jina. Sana. Oh, okay. Kwa hiyo kumbe anaitwa pia jina kama la mwana roundup uh, by the way kuna kipindi kinaitwa roundup mm. na moja ya members anaitwa Godfrey. Na ni mhaya vile vile. Ah, okay. Ah, Rugambwa. Rugambwa. Okay. Mule mule yani unaweza ukafikiri ni ni nani? Yeah. Bana karibuni sana jamani. Asante sana. Au sio ni kwa muda mrefu sana nilikuwa natamani sana kufanya mazungumzo na watu kama nyie just no tu yani kazi yenu ikoje naona kama vile sio kazi rahisi japo tukiona picha naona mna shine mafanyaji lakini sidhani kama ni kitu rahisi vile vile so uh, kwa kuanza kabisa nataka nitoe fursa kwa mmoja mmoja uh, nianze na uh, Adeline Adelina kwa Kiswahili sio uh, ulijikutaje umeingia kwenye uh, UMC na ushereheshaji kwa sababu nafahamu kwamba wewe unafanya kazi nyingine vile vile ameniambia kwamba yeye ni HR katika um, ka benki ya CRDB kwa hiyo UMC anaufanya katika muda wa ziada sometime by the way shughuli nyingi zinafanyikaga weekend yeah. sio uh, ulijikutaje umekuwa ushereheshaji Alright asante sana kwa nafasi hii kwanza lazima nishukuru Okay um, lakini nilijikutaje kwenye UMC actually mimi ni mtu kwenye familia yetu tulipotoka si tunapenda sana kuongea yani mamangu mkubwa mimi ni mwanasiasa mamangu mimi ni mchungaji okay. kwa hiyo unakuta yani nadhani background yangu pia ni watu ambao we are not introverts tuko sisi ni extroverts yani sisi yani tunapenda kuongea kwanza kabisa kwa hiyo sisi ku na watu ni kitu kiraisi sana kwetu lakini pia kwa mfano hata nikiwa kwenye kazini yani unakuta pia labda kuna event mina yani mimi kushika microphone kuongea ni kitu ambacho yani na nakipenda. Okay. Yani kwa mfano waga nafanyaga joke kwamba ukinyima microphone tunagombana. Okay. Kwa hiyo mtu yote ambaye anataka kushia microphone na mimi anatafuta ugomvi na mimi. Kwa hiyo hiyo kwanza nilianzia hivyo. Lakini um, kulikuwa kuna shughuli ya um, one of my friends ambao nilifanya mimi ilikuwa ni um, ilikuwa ni bridal shower yake nilifanya. Alafu baada ya bridal shower yake pia nikaja nikafanya send off yake. Yaani nilikuwa tu for fun. Tulikuwa tumefika pale hamna MC. Mimi nikachukua microphone nikaanza tu yani kwamba okay guys tufanye hivi na hivi. Kwa hiyo nikaanza kufanya. He akafurahi. Um akafurahi sana akasema jamani hadi like no I want you to do my send off. Mimi nikamwambia siwezi akaniambia lazima ufanye send off yangu. Bas nikafanya send off. Baada ya send off yake akaniambia I've decided you are doing my wedding. Ah. <laughs> nikamwambia I've never done this. Akaniambia nimeamua utafanya harusi yangu basi nikafanya harusi yake na huyo dada mwenyewe ni Mangi Kimambi. Oh, 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 I see. Nikafanya harusi wow. yake. Okay. Na from that day nakumbuka marafiki zangu tulikuwa tumekaa Sickleaf baada mm. ile harusi. Tumekaa Sickleaf tuna we just chatting na nini wakawa nasema headline. Hii kitu bwana wewe unaiweza kwa nini usichukulie seriously? 
Sasa nikawa naona ah nifanye UMC. Mimi ni mtu wa corporate nafanyaje UMC? Huu nikawa naangalia yani hivyo naona kwamba da hii siwezi kufanya. Yani watu watanionaje? Yeah. Umeona yani ile? Lakini wako ananiambia je utajibrand tofauti na nini? Nakumbuka marafiki zangu wengine wakana ananiambia Gloria Glam Madam. Mm. Alikuwa ananiambia ila nitakubrand, nitakupamba, tutaweka brochures na nini? Yani ujibrand vizuri tofauti. Mimi nikawa tu niko slow yani, unajua? Then from there ndo nikasema mm, Let me maybe I should get into this thing. Yeah. Basi ndo nikaanza kufanya okay. and thank God yani imepick na imepick haraka sana yani. And I think yani ni kwamba ni medelay yani. Uh-huh. Ni kitu ambacho nitakuwa nianze tangu Mapema. kipindi kile nitakuwa ni niwe nimeshaanza because ni kitu nafanya na nafanyaga yani for just for, for leisure yani. Kwa hiyo nilianza kufanya seriously kweli imetick na watu wananikubali na mshukuru Mungu. Of course pia kwa sababu nafanya out of passion. Yeah. Oh, ni kitu ambacho nakifanya zaidi pia mimi mwenyewe na enjoy. Na mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda maharusi. Ni kwaga naendaga pale Maznat. Kipindi hata kabla sijaona nilikuwa naendaga Maznat na fika pale na angalia tu mabibi harusi wakiwa na rembo. Kwa hiyo kwenda kufanya ushereshaji kwenye mashuhuli. Yaani for me ni kitu ambacho na kienjoy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Luvanda. Mm. Wewe uliingiaje? Of course me I know the story kidogo. Lakini nitajifanya nimesahau. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, on my side uh, is not very far from from my sister Lina. Mm. Nilianza mimi kwanza because it was my passion mm. na nilianzia shuleni. Na nakumbuka nilikuwa ni kwamba me it was by default yani kukitokea sherehe yote sasa ah, vanda supige pigi hapo kidogo. <laughs> Wendo organize watu. <laughs> so it came like a passion and I was doing it. Lakini nakumbuka sherehe yangu ya kwanza kabisa ambayo it was significant ilikuwa ni babu yangu alikuwa anaoa mke wa pili. Eh <laughs> hey, yani mke wake wa kwanza alikuwa ameshafariki hasa mzee kumbe bado uh, yani he keeps on firing uh, uh. moto ulikuwa bado unawaka yani hazimi moto wa uzimi kila wakati kwa mzee akasema bwana mimi nataka kuoa na ile kuoa akasema bwana mimi nataka nataka mjukuu wangu ndo awe MC back in then alikuwa ameniona kwenye vi, vipati vidogo vidogo aliniona kwenye kwenye kipaimara cha mdogo wangu alikuwa anapata kipaimara okay. kwa hoteli unafahamu sana kwa hiyo Babu mimi ndo alinipandisha ndo ilikuwa harusi yangu ya kwanza kufanya ya babu. Basi nikapiga ile harusi ilikuwa kijijini huko. Lakini it was not about watu wanaoniangalia, it was about me kwamba I can do the wedding. Na siku zote anayekuamini yule mtu wako wa karibu sana, mm. either ndugu yako au rafiki yako. Yeah. Because those are the people ambao wanaweza tolerate your mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. So from there nilipoenda A level it took my interest. Nikawa kwenye mikutano ya ukwata ya 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 shule mimi i was volunteering myself na hata nilipofika chuo kikuu nakumbuka dar es salaam chuo cha dar es salaam nilikuwa nafanya sana sasa siku moja akaja mtu mmoja uh, kwenye 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 chuo chetu na kulikuwa na function of course alikuwa ameitwa kwa ajili ya to inspire na nini na nini alafu pia akawa kama ana delay hivi sasa mimi kwa sababu washa nizoea pale napiga piga show kwa sababu vanda hebu kumsaidie mgeni apige pige tumaliza haraka maana pale chuo muda muda ni kitu muhimu sana. Yeah. Yeah, kwa sababu sisi ukiona fanya event baadaye wanao inakuja event nyingine vitu kama hivyo. Basi katika kumsaidia yule bwana akawa amependa sana performance yangu. Akaniambia ah, mbona kama unaweza? Afu mbona kama vile unaweza kutangaza? Nikamwambia mimi napenda sana kutangaza. Mimi kutangaza nianza ga enzi unajirekodi na matepu yale unaingiza tepu. Eh hey. hey, unabweza mimi. Nasoma habari. Nasoma habari. <laughs> Kwa hiyo alivoniambia mambo ya radio afu alikuwa mtangazaji wa radio. Okay. Ambe mimi napenda kinoma. Kaniambia si njoo come and just see unakaa kama pa studio unakaa kwenye coach pale unaangalia na wafanya. Basi mimi nikamwangalia siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili, siku ya tatu mimi nikakamata mic. Na inikaenda hewani na it was very nice. Nikaanza pia kuchongea changia mada baadaye nikawa mtangazaji kamili. Lakini huyu bro alikuwa yeye tayari ni MC. Very famous na anafanya vizuri sana kwenye industry akaanza tukaanza kuongozana naye kwenye masherehe remember i had a passion kwa hiyo nilikwenda mimi kumsindikiza kwenye masherehe it was like wow this is my dream I, i can do this i can i can make this happen and then akaniambia bro so ulisema unapenda penda hebu shika mkaribisha kwanza wageni basi unakaribisha wageni siku ya pili siku ya tatu sasa siku ya nne anakwambia sasa tabii tufanye pamoja mimi ni Nikifanya keki unafanya champagne lakini utaongea A B C D usiseme zaidi hapo. Yeah. Nimepewa script nilikuwa napiga hiyo hiyo script na nilikuwa mtiifu ndivyo nilikuwa napata uh, uwanja mkubwa zaidi. Na this guy is known as Harris Kapiga. Oh. Yes. Mm. Eh, so mimi na respect okay. jamaa kama mtu ambaye amenitoa mavumbini na kuniweka 
kwenye kwenye ufalme because he was so uh, concerned to see entrepreneurs na vijana wanakuwa so for me from there tukaanza kufanya kazi wa wawili tunafanya dabo lakini watu wakafikiri ndio style yetu kwa sababu tunapenda wale maimsima pacha wale kwa tukawa tunavaa sare sare ikiwa suti kama na kiua na mimi naika kiua hapa hela <laughs> alafu tukipata hela wote tunaenda kununua nguo yani ilikuwa nguo ndio investment kubwa tunayofanya okay then kilichotokea ni kwamba siku harisi akipigiwa mm. amejaa ambia ah, lakini kuna yule dogo nafanyaga naye mapacha yule pacha mwenzangu unaweza pia kumchukua ah yeah achua bwana we nilipoanza kukabidhiwa mike eh. tupata tena kutuweka wawili mapacha ilikuwa hiyo yeah. so from there the rest is a history na uh, that's why we are here now yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. kama harris alivokushika mkono wewe ulimshika pia mc pilipili mc pilipili yeah. with the rest of yes. 40 other guys oh yeah. wait yeah. some yeah sasa so, so. kwa kwa garo b wewe ilikuwaaje yani yani kaingia kwenye hii kazi <laughs> naona lina na kazi nzuri asikie la story yako yeah, na am sana kusikia <laughs> well um uh, kama alivyozungumza wenzangu mm. nafikiri kuna kitu kinaitwa passion okay mimi pia nilikuwa kiukweli sasa na bahati nzuri sisi nyumbani kwetu ni watu wa mashuhuri shuhuri sana especially my mom mm. sawa eh si baba tu alifeli okay miaka mingi so mama yetu ikiwa kama kichanga sasa so, unapata kadi ya dabo siku tu tukua tatu kuzaliwa sawa kwa hiyo tulikuwa tuna rotate kwamba leo anakwenda na huyu kama shughuli shughuli anakwenda na huyu anakwenda na huyu nda kwa zamu mm. unajua eh ikawa inatokea sasa mimi nikiingia huku mbili interest yangu mimi ni kumwangalia tu MC na muangalia MC na sema ah mbona mimi naweza nikafanya pengine ta zaidi hapa mbona kama hapa lakini nikifanya hivi na mimi yani kipata nafasi naweza kafanya hivi kawa tufanye kizuri bwana sasa nikaanza kutengeneza ile interest nikajikuta sasa kwa ile rotation sasa nakuta so, so zamu yangu lakini nataka niwe po mimi mm. kwa nikajikuta kuna kipindi nikawa naiba kadi mama anajiandaa mimi nachukua kadi natangulia huku mbili anakuja kadi ya ikuti kwa mama anakuja huku mbili kwa kuomba kuingia kwamba kadi yangu si hiyo <laughs> ananikuta mimi mjengoni umeona <laughs> so baadaye ilivyokuwa inakwenda vile kwa sasa nikaachana na bali ya kuchukua kadi na nini nikawa najua kuna kumbi za mashughuli sawa kwa mimi nikawa naenda kama kama mtu yupo mfanya kazi pale umeona eh naingia pale hamna mtu ananijua umeona eh watu wanaanza mpaka shughuli inaanza inaisha lakini mimi mpenda concentration yangu nani si umeona eh mimi niko si mfate mc straight kwamba laza nini mimi nilikuwa na njia zangu mm. kwa hiyo ikaenda kuna rafiki yangu mmoja actually nilikuwa ni ana rafiki na mama alikuwa na studio yake anafanya production sawa eh ile jamaa hata pia nikamba baba kama kuna cd za shule ambazo za zamani zamani huko na nini labda tutachukua sibaki na ziomba alinipaga ile jamaa mimi nikawa nakaga ndani najifungia naangalia tu harusi bro mmm mimi ndio siamini so na uh, hiyo ilipelekea sasa mimi nikawa nashiriki kwenye shughuli ndogo ndogo lakini siku moja siku moja nifanye harusi hiyo ndio ilikuwa ndio kwa yangu sasa harusi ambayo nilipata ya kwanza. <coughs> e, nilikuwa nafanya kazi Vodacom mm-hmm. kama customer care. Sorry kama nimetangaza no? No, 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 no. Okay. It's okay. Nifanya pale yeah. uh, kama customer care, nimefanya pale kwa kidogo. Natokea kuna supervisor wangu alikuwa anaoa. Ilikuwa kama kuna shughuli inakuja email zinapita nini kwamba mjiandae kuna kitu kinakuja. Mimi nilimface ile jamaa sababu pia tulikuwa tuna tunapiga piga story kidogo so wangu lakini napiga piga story bro why don't you nusu ni pay nikasimamia hiyo ah garabi acha sami garabi nimesema nitumie siku nyingi sana okay ah garabi acha vuru ndio garabi mto vuru so ikaenda <coughs> lakini nitaka nitajia majina ambayo ndio atakwenda kufanya shughuli yake wana rest in peace anitajia from kibonde oh eh, okay kuna ndio kwenda kusimamia hiyo shughuli umeona eh cha amesha alizana na kibonde. Kwa mimi nikatuliza, anambia kidogo tuliza mshono. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, imagine ikaenda zimebaki kama wiki mbili ambayo ndo harusi yake sasa ije. Sawa eh? Kashangana ni cheki. Karabi. Hivi unasema unaweza kufanya harusi? <laughs> Nikamba yes. Nini kimetokea? Sasa nakumbuka before ilikuwa namtumia email. Eh. Muone, namkumbusha kuhusiana na hiyo. Baka anambia dogo anachezea email za ofisi. 
this is really no fish. Yeah, this is like you say you tokea sasa kwamba bwana jamaa amezingua amepata kuna kuna mtu mwingine amevipata ya kufanya hatokuepo. Unaona eh? Kwa hiyo aomba tumie kwa hiyo mpango. Jamaa ndo akawa kwanza kunitumia mimi. Bifanya mazoezi. Unga kushughuli na kuja. Vile kana waambia unachezea hiyo mbele za office. I remember this guy anaitwa Catherine Noah. Uh, hii ni miaka kama saba imepita sasa hivi. Okay. Ni sasa siku siku imefika. So excited. Nakwenda kufanya harusi. Bwana nakumbuka nilimwambia kwamba bro nipe ile sound tu ya mziki. Mm. Mimi nilipia mziki, sawa eh? Alafu hiyo nyingine. Ni mazizi ya tuani. Nataka nikufanye kitu moja. Bro nakumbuka nilipa ile sound afaka niongeza kama kala kimoja hivi. Eh. Bwana eh? Sasa hii nitaenda kutafuta takoti. Sawa. So nakumbuka nilijiandaa sana. Imagine nakumbuka kwamba wa wageni walikuwa wengi pia ni wafanyakazi wenzangu ambao hawajui. Mm. Unajua eh? Um siku ya siku imefika mimi nikaomba kaomba nini ID sawa eh kwamba sitokuepo lakini lengo ni kwamba nafanya maandalizi scouting na kisha sound imefika huku mbili sawa huku mbili natoka naenda kujiandaa ndugu yangu fresh au so excited Wa, wageni wanaingia ingia huku mbili wafanyakazi wenzangu ah bwana we mwana kamati nini unajua <laughs> eh yes mwana kamati na nini bwana shughuli inakuja inaanza yule bwana anaingia huku mbili mm shughuli inaendelea unajua unaona unajua sima MC unamwambia mtu ya ruhusi bwana ruhusi fanye fanye hivi unajua na na namwamrisha na, na nafanya vile afa anaangalia anacheka <laughs> <laughs> anacheka wafanyakazi wenzangu wakawa hawaamini hey. uh, what so unajua una hype ya wafanyakazi wenzangu hey. sasa unawarusha ile ile mm bwana so ikafika paka shughuli inaisha mimi unajua nimepaka ile mshafanya ruhusi nyingi sana yeah lakini ikumbuke ile tuz one of the best performances Ah oh. yes ulipania se nilipania na kilichofanya maki makubaliano ambacho kiasi ambacho ilikuwa nilipe mm. akanipa mpaka bonus bro okay umeona kwa hiyo wateja wangu wakaanza kuwa kwanza pale pale uh, wale wa yeah, kazi zangu yeah. wana baada ya ndio tukatoka tukaingia mtaani tukaanza kujiongeza tukaje establish zaidi kwa fun okay hiyo ndio kuna MCG Garabi wow so kwa ufupi sana umesikia jinsi ambavyo kila mmoja aliingia kwenye kazi hii sasa sasa hivi tuingie kwenye kazi yenyewe maana hiyo hayo ndio maisha yao. Ah uh, tukaanze na MC Adlen. Una sherehe na harusi au uh, umeongea na maharusi wenyewe kwa mfano kama leo Garabi amekuja uh, na wa, 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 maharusi sio? Mm. You are serious eh? Yeah sure. Okay okay. Amtaona <laughs> by the way uh, kwa sababu wako nyuma. Yeah wako nyuma. Eh uh, process ikoje yani inakuwaaje mnakutana nao kwanza na unajiandaaje yani like kuna kiscript unakiandaa mapema kabla ya kwenda kwenye hiyo sherehe ama inakuwaaje the process okay uh, mimi kama mimi obviously mtu anavyokutafuta kwanza anataka umfanyie shughuli yake kwa hiyo um, unaongea naye most of the times unakuta anayekutafuta tayari anafahamu kazi zake yeah, okay. unaku mara nyingi of course sometimes unakuta ni ndugu yake mwingine anakuambia mdogo wangu ana reference zaidi yeah. mm. lakini mara nyingi unakuta labda ni yeye mwenyewe bibi harusi au bwana harusi anakutafuta okay. then anakuambia naomba nifanyie shughuli yangu unaambia po kwa hiyo usually una then una, ananipa advance ambayo ile advance inakuwa tu ina book ile tarehe mm. so then i don't get any other work yeah. for the, on that date yeah. then after pale nasubiri mpaka when the event is now near so let's say a week before the event then naanza kutafuta yule mtu na mtumia program anaangalia ile program and then namwambia please discuss na wanakamati na ndugu zako wa karibu discuss ile program jinsi mnavotaka kwa mimi nampa tu ile skeleton draft then yeye mwenyewe anirudia mara nyingi napenda ku na yule mtu ambaye amenitafuta mimi kwa sababu ameniona somewhere ndio maana amenitaka which mm. means amependa the way i run the program yeah. kwa hiyo ningependa pia yeye afurahi na achague yeye anavotaka ile program yake kwa sababu unajua pia akienda kwa wanakamati kila mtu ana wazo lake kila mtu anataka kitu chake yeye mwenyewe anachokiimagine yeye kwa mara nyingi napenda ku deal na muhusika yeye mwenyewe huyo mwenye anakuwa ananiambia kama na discuss na ndugu zake then ananiambia kwamba okay nataka hivi badilisha hiki na hiki lakini mara nyingi waga hawabadilishi then nakuwa namwambia okay nipe majina ya hawa watu ambao labda watafanya labda atafungua kwa sala mambo ya champagne nini kila kitu na kiarrange before mm. kila kitu nakuwa nakipata everything 
pia nakuwa namweleza kwamba nahitaji kujua flow manager ni nani sababu flow manager ndio yule mtu ambaye atakuwa na communicate na mimi direct kwamba on that day yeye kama bibi harusi au bwana harusi hata kuwa anaweza ku communicate na mimi direct lakini flow manager ndio atakaye kuwa na communicate na mimi kwa sababu unajua sometimes kwenye mashuhuli unakuta kuna ndugu wa kila aina kila mtu anataka apenyeze kitu chake mwingine yuko um, anataka kufanya kitu vizuri mwingine anania mbaya oh. yes of course mwingine anataka kuharibia mwingine anataka kitu fulani lazima kitokee lakini kwa sababu kwenye kamati wamemkatalia anajua you, 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 you guys you can chip and kama kuna mfano halisi katika anachokiongea yeah, so kuna kamati anamhitaji Luvanda lakini Berusa anamhitaji Ah okay. Bwana kwa hiyo mkuta sasa ameshaingia Lina. Mm. Na yule alikuwa anataka hayo Luvanda. Mm. Eh ni kisanga. Na, na, na kuna wengine this is live example. Mtu anakwambia MC unaona unatuharibia shughuli. Yaani shughuli haijaanza. <laughs> I'm like dude, we have six hours on the road. Why would you say umetu, ume, ume, umetuharibia shughuli? I say, I say. Come on. <laughs> Chill. Sasa so, ukija baadaye unakuwa takuna hizo story ndio wanazosema oh. Karabi eh kwamba hey. bwana kwenye kikao huyu jamaa alikuwa na MC wake. Huyo oh. hapa na amekukunda sana. <laughs> yaani kuna nyingine unaambiwa kwenye kikao umetajwa tu jina lako. Ah. Huyo. Huyo huwa anachukua kwa shughuli za watu. Hata kuja huyo. Sasa ukitokea hey. yule kinamshuka. I so say. it happens a lot. Mm. Na, na mm. kama alivyosema Lina, yeah. uh, there are two sides. Kuna okay. watu ambao they truly want to make the event happening. Yeah. Lakini kuna wale ambao ni waharibuge. Lakini mm. kuna watu ambao mimi nawaita wanakuaga nasi. Neno la kawaida kabisa kiere. Yeah. Yaani hao wapo you should expect them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kwanza unakuta kwanza hajahudhuria vikao vyote. Okay. Kwa hiyo on the D days anataka kuonyesha kwamba anataka kulipa madeni. Okay. Eh kwamba na mimi nipo. Mm, Kwanza yeah. kaja, yani unaongea kwenye mic. <laughs> anakufuata. Anakufuata. Sasa mm. MC wakitoka hapo akakata keke. <laughs> Naambia dude, that's a manager. Yeah, for sure manager. I'm like mimi ndiye nimelipwa ikazi najua. Somaga hey. life of MC. I hey. say. It's crazy. I think we're going to get a lot of this. Mm. So anakuja na kufuata pale. Uh, sasa MC wakishafungua hiyo champagne mm. eh, afanye toasting na wazazi. <laughs> yaani ende anakuwa kama vile producer wao. Hey. Hebu director of oh, no. everything. Anapokuambia hivyo ni tofauti na wewe ulivyopanga kwenda. Tofauti. Na yeah. hata kama ndio inavyotakiwa mm. lakini ni kwamba yeah. wewe kama MC mm. wewe ndio director wa ile show. Okay. You don't need another director or yeah. an assistant. Yeah. Umeelewa? Yeah. Alafu pia umeshakubaliana na muhusika kama ni bibi harusi au bwana harusi kwamba shughuli ita flow hivi. Yes. Kwa humhitaji yule mtu kuja kwa sababu yeye pale anataka aonekane. Mm. That's the reason why yeah, anafuta yeah. vile. Ana show off. Exactly. Na huwa wanaharibu sana kwa sababu okay. kwa sababu yeah, mm-hmm. kamfono Lina anasema yeye anaongea na maharusi wake before. Mm. Yule bwana hata hakuepo. Exactly. Sasa wewe unaongea na maharusi. This is what I want my wedding to be and stuff like that. Yeye hayupo. Yeye unakuta aliolewa mwaka sabini huko. <laughs> na yeye anataka kuleta mawazo yake anambia ji bwana wewe ushaoa au ushaolewa chill this is someone's wedding no you are wedding there so special you know? yeah, yeah, it exactly. happens once mm. yeah. if it happens second time it's mm. not the same as the, the, the yeah. first time mm. kwao unajikuta kwamba unakuwa na mvurugano ambao unapelekea sasa mm. waliokupa kazi ambao ni maharusi wenyewe wanakuwa na wenyewe pia wana hama kwenye ile furaha yao yes. sababu wanakuta wanafanya vitu vingi sana ambavyo sio kama ambavyo unataka kwanza ujaikutana na hii <laughs> Anakuambia <laughs> well, ile wakati yani sasa Marusa anakuambia nataka tucheze sana. Mm, Alafu yes. ume, ume DJ wako amepiga ngoma mbili mbona mm. anakuja mtoto anaondoka bwana zawadi 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 bwana. Yes. Yuko tena naye. Hiyo unakutana na mimi wanawaambia aga. Yes. Hakuna mtu ambaye mm-hmm. anaenda Mlima Nisiti au duka lolote eh. ananunua zawadi, yes. anaifanyia rapping, mm. anakuja naye huku mbini afaondoke naye. Anaambia ukiona mtu anaondoka na zawadi, unajua kutoa hakuna na lengo kutoa zawadi. Hamna kitu kama hicho. Mlazimishe zawadi. Yaani it's so crazy because that's only so real unajua. Kwa sababu afu pia kuna wengine wanakuta kama hivyo maharusi wanasema we want to dance. Yes. Wewe unavoendelea kupiga zile ngoma anatokea mzee akamwambia muda 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 tuondoke 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 tutoe zawadi tuoze naambia ah mm. hata hii ni sehemu ya sherehe okay. yani unavoona tu wanacheza hii pia ni sherehe ujue yani mm. sherehe sio tu kutoa zawadi na kuondoka even this is a word so these are some they are like 10000 uh, challenges yeah, ambazo yeah. we are going through yeah. this is one of them wewe yeah. unakuta kwamba um, nakuwa naongea na maharusi beforehand na namwambia kwamba flow manager 
na utaka jina la flow manager na ninamweleza yeah. flow manager ni nani <laughs> na position ya flow manager ni nini yeah. oh, na, yeah. na mimi these days pia from the experience toga naambia naomba flow manager awe mtu young yes, asiwe yeah. mtu mzima mtu mzee kwa sababu mm. kazi ya flow manager pia ni kutumwa kwa mm. mfano unaweza ukaambiwa mtu anaweza kaja kukuambia bwana na Bierusi wako pale mlangoni tayari we mimi si niko mbele huko natangaza wageni walikwa sasa tusimame bwana Bierusi wanaingia huko mbini milango naomba ifunguliwe milango inafunguliwa Bibi harusi kumbe alienda washroom. Ah, au bibi harusi anafanywa touch up ya makeup. Hapo yeah. umeshatangaza. Wanafungua mlango, hamna mtu. Hapo unakuta ni mtu mzima kama babako, ndio <laughs> amekuambia wako tayari mlangoni. Hivi una unamgeukiaje kwa mfano? Eh, kuna kila kuna haja sana ya kutoa peli. Unasema kila yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Mimi anasema tu flow manager kwa sababu ni baba mdogo. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Hawajui ile role ya flow manager. Mm. Yeah. Unajua eh? Mm. sana kuna kitu kimetokea unataka upate taarifa mm. flow manager yupo katikati ya meza za katikati pale yes. anapiga story na kunywa na kunywa na chakunywa. Unaona eh? Kwa sababu bidu mtafuti mtu mwingine uangalie kwenye kamati nani ambaye yuko sharp kidogo ambaye yeah. unaweza kumtumia. Unaona mm. eh? Sasa unaweza kutaja mm. yule of course unaona yuko sharp lakini hayuko detailed enough na na vitu ambavyo viko pale. Kwa hiyo mm. yeah. nafikiri from agents pia ambao wanachaguliwa na shughuli wajue kabisa kwamba wana role ya karibu zaidi kufanya kufanya na sisi ambao ni watu sasa hawa flow managers ambao mm. by the way ni wanakamati moja yeah, kati yao na familia na nini so wao mnakutana nao before like mnapanga tunafanya hivi na hivi kuzoeana kidogo au mara nyingi unakuta unawahi huko mbini wewe kama MC yeah. kwa hiyo flow manager naye mara nyingi unakutana na kwa amewahi kwa sababu ni muhusika mm. yani unakuta ni main player kwenye ile shughuli au au ana jina tofauti kwenye nani? Yeah, kwenye usually nini? usually ni wale wanakamati yeah. so they select a flow manager okay. na mimi wanaongea na mm. maharusi kwamba please on the D day make sure tunamjua flow manager ni nani ateuliwe mapema hata wanakamati wanawaambia ateuliwe mapema na huwa nawapa checklist wanakamati kwamba mtu ambaye ana qualify kuwa flow manager hivi awe ni mtu ambaye amehudhuria vikao vyote oh, fabricative yeah. yes mm. msimchague mtu kwa sababu ah wewe bwana ulikuwa huhudhuri vikao sasa leo ni zamu yako utakuwa flow manager nitaharibu <laughs> shughuli okay. kwa sababu hajahudhuria vikao vyote hey. hajui mjadala aliyokuwa anaendelea kwenye kikao yes. kwa hiyo most likely anaweza akaharibu aka, sherehe mm. kwa hiyo flow manager yawe ni mtu ambaye amehudhuria vikao vyote almost mm. anajua mwenendo wa sherehe na flow manager kazi yake nyingine pia ni kuchuja unajua MC unapokuwa pale mbele mm sio kila mtu anatakiwa kufuata kuongea na wewe. Of course. Mm. Mm. Sasa tumeshaongea kuna hao ambao ni waharibuji, kwa hiyo akiereere <laughs> sasa <laughs> pawepo wao mimi naambia wanakamati. Awepo mtu ambaye nyinyi wote mtakao mnaongea naye alafu yanayachuja yes. alafu anatetea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more easy to manage. Sure. Uh, kwa sababu pia UMC and this could be a best tip for people who are yeah. watching or yeah. listen to us. Yeah. MC is not about you speaking. Mm. You are the manager. Yeah. You need to know how to manage logistics za sherehe. Absolutely. Unahitaji yes. pia kuwa na people skill, like mm. management skill, mm. people management like HR. Mm. Lazima ujue psychology ya watu. Absolutely. Yeah. Kuna watu wanakuja pale, mwingine mwingine anza kaa kashalewa au kuna mwingine kagombana na mume wake, mm. afu yeye from manager, afu mume wake labda ni mweusi kama mimi, afu ana kindevu ndevu kama hivyo. Anaona ni sawa tu ndio mume. Eh hey. anaongea na wewe unachangana kutukana lakini hey. ineti sasa kwa kutukani wewe ni hasira bado wako nazo. Hey. Afu kuna wengine wale wanaitwa machno. Mm. Yaani yule ambaye ana anajua vitu vingi sana. Kwa utajikuta huyo huyo ni kumuitikia tu. Mm. Okay, sawa. Ni kweli. Sawa, tutafanya hivyo mzee. Tutafanya. Hawataki kubishana. <laughs> na nielewa. Eh yani eh ninakuelewa. Eh ndio, eh sawa. Eh yani MC tunaenda kwa utaratibu na nielewa. Kwa hiyo hao watu hutaki kuwabishia kabisa. Ni bora ukamsikiliza. Mhm. Ila usifanye alichokisema. Kuli kumkatalia <laughs> tena mbele ya kadam nasi. Ah. Eh yani hao ni watu ambao anakuita. Yani mimi kuna sherehe moja niko katikati naongea. Jamaa alinyosha mkono. Yuko meza ya wazazi. Mhm sasa ngajua baba ana ana ana, ana, ana shabikia sherehe <laughs> lakini nilivuna three times kwa nao mzee anahoja kwa nikakatia nilikuwa nakienda kukiongea kana kumsikiliza eh, akaniita njoo eh, uh-huh. sasa MC unanielewa <laughs> tukitoka hapa eh hiyo keki pereko kwa wazazi <laughs> na kwa wako na nyingine apeo mwenye kitu unanielewa akasema ah sasa mbona hiyo ndo nilichokuwa nakifanya hapa mm. akaniita tena mara ya pili mm. akanipa tena utaratibu nikajua ah anataka kusikilizwa 
e attention. Mm. Kwa yakinita mm. mimi nikawa naitikia. Nikawa yeah. tena spingani naye. Okay. Kwa cha msingi ni kuangalia is management of people's psychology. Huyu ni msikilize vipi? Huyu ni msaidie kitu gani? Mm. Kuna mwingine anapenda kurushwa. Yaani usipomrusha huyo kwenye mic anasema papa papa fulani eh, papa mpao nani ai <laughs> see kwa usipomrusha huyo sasa msema taribia sherehe yani mambo yake kama mazuri lakini mc mc sasa mtu kama Rabi amekutana na maharusi wake wamempa details wanataka kucheza wanataka kufanyeje amefanya vyote lakini kwa sababu hukumrusha papa mkombaye sasa yule anafikiri tusimchukue next time vipi kwani mbona alienda vizuri ah nyamjui <laughs> Yule mkrofi sana hey. ana kiburi kumbe kiburi chako wewe hey. ni kuto shout out to shout out unakuta <laughs> kuna ndugu ametoka US mimi then napata hizo peke yangu anakuambia kabisa mimi ni fulani nimetoka all the way from the US wakati sio au kweli ni ndugu kweli ah kweli yeah okay okay lakini lazima hiyo detail knowledge yeah 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 anataka arushwe yani yeye akurushwa ni kweli kabisa wala sio uongo kwa hiyo anataka kabisa pale during the event lazima umrushe kidogo Yaani ni muhimu sana. Usahau. Ah imekula kwako. Na na hizi kuna hizi za uswahilini ndio kabisa. Mm. Anakuwa nakukumbusha mm. kumbusha usinisahau. Hizo za kurusha mtu anakanga yake. Mm. Eh. Usinisahau. Eh. Eh. Anakuja. Sijasikia, sijasikia. Au amerejister kikundi. Mimi mbona mbio niiti? Naambia mama siwezi kuita watu wote kwa wakati mmoja. Au unakuta anakuja na begi lake. Muite sasa. Anakuja na begi lake, anachomoa kanga moja baada ya nyingine. Anakanga 30. Hilo la kanga umelisema wewe na Luvano umelisema ni maarufu eh? Sana, sana, sana. How? Sana. Mimi kama kama ukiangalia kwenye page yangu ya Instagram kuna wakati mwingine na waga na chokoza tu. Nakuta Belus alba amepewa ela na nini so una, unauliza tu jamani kati ya kanga vitenge na hizi za gari mnataka nimeona hiyo juzi umepo lakini ni kwa sababu tu nimekuwa ni 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 utamaduni ni utamaduni alafu mm. nafikiri kama hauna mantiki kwa sasa i don't know mm. fine kuna kitu unajua mpaka ifike siku, siku ya harusi <laughs> dada zetu wanafanya shughuli nyingi wana wana bridal shower pa, um, wana kitchen party wana send off alafu nakuja harusi unaona eh kama kuna kitchen party zi kanga zingekuwa zinachukua nafasi okay siku ya harusi mmm utakanga niweza kutoa moja unakiandikisha una, kule kikundi mm. na kuja kinapoteza muda kinajipanga toka kwenye mlango wa kuingia kule yeah. ili waje watoe zawadi ya kitenge kimoja mm. wamekishika wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu kasha katikati mpaka wa mwisho huko wamekiweka wame hivi waje pale wamfunike umeona eh alafu yule ambaye anapokea zawadi achukue sasa aifunge vizuri mm. aiweke amen ili yeah. ili kuna, kuna vitu vina kama Eh, mm. Mimi yeah, I have mm. a different opinion kwenye hiyo. Mm. Mm. Unajua sometimes kwa mfano unakuta shangazi yako. Ni shangazi ambaye hajiwezi in terms of finances. Yeah. Ametoka zake sijui wapi. Unaelewa eh? Anaona <laughs> siwezi kuja mwanangu anaolewa. Mije mikono mitupu <laughs> haiwezekani. Yeah. Ni shangazi. Okay. Kwa anataka na yeye mm. apate au bibi. Yeah. Anataka nafasi yake shangazi aje mm. atoke pale shangazi beti amekuja na kitengiki chake amekuja anamfunika mwanae pale sasa labda amekuja na, na marafiki zake kutoka sijui kibao morogoro mm. eh, eh, anataka aje nao kwa sababu mm. wale wamemsindikiza sio jose nae ndio shangazi yeah. kwa hiyo anakuja na wapambe wake na yeye <laughs> kwa majirani zake anakuja nao wamefika mpaka pale anataka wale wote waje na wimbo wao wema wa Mungu umenizunguka wazunguke pale zunguka <laughs> eh, shetani na mama mkwe wake sasa no alafu nakuta anatoa mama mkwe sasa mkwe sasa yeye ile lazima afanye hii umeelewa mm, mm, yeah. na yeye kwake pale atakuwa amejipiga sana kupata hata kile kitenge ambacho amekileta kwa hiyo kwenye hiyo mimi naona yes inapoteza muda mm, yeah. lakini pia ukiangalia kiangalia the weight ambayo inaleta kwenye yeah, shughuli yeah. na kama ni mimi ni shangazi yangu amekuja ameniletea kitenge to me it's valuable kwa kwa ivumilike tu ivumilike na, na, na mimi nafikiri nafikiri yeah, yeah, yeah. naungana mkono lakini changamoto inakuja i think yeah. kutokana na class okay unajua hizi wedding pia yes. <coughs> zina class za watu kuna 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 sherehe nyingine mama anakwambia kabisa mc waambie kina mama sitaki vitenge Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lakini nimekuja kugundua pia <coughs> excuse me wale ambao wanapenda sana vitenge ni akina mama na ni akina mama watu wazima. Sasa kuna kitu tunachoitwa generational gap. Uh, wale wakina mama ni kizazi kingine kina fed away kizazi kipya akina garabi they don't see that in the mantic kwa sababu mm-hmm. uh, because they have new ideas 
kuna ulimwengu wetu mwingine kabisa. Kwa hiyo unakujikuta kwamba inaanza kupoteza wasaa. Lakini nitakwambia kitu kingine ambacho ni very interesting. Kwa mfano kapu la mama. Kapu la mama wakina mama wanaenda kununua vijiko no, sijui no. nini toothpick pale na nini no. sijui eh, sahani wanabeba wakina mama ishiri kila mtu kashika cha kwake anakuja mm. na mama anakuja na kapu that was very traditional and i think we are evolving mm. sababu zamani harusi zikoze zinafanyikia nyumbani by the way send off wakina mama wanaitwa wanapika pale eh, mapambo alikuwa tu ni tissues zinawekwa pale zinaninginia ndio ilikuwa ni nyumbani ndio maana ya send off lakini baadaye kutoka na utandawazi maendeleo na nini tukawa na kumbi hasa mnatoka nyumbani kwenu mnaenda kwenye kumbi So mimi sitashangaa miaka mitano mijayo au miaka mm. kumi mm. hatutakuwa na zawadi za vitenge kwa sababu tutakuwa tunahudumia kizazi kingine ambacho mm. sure. kinaona kabisa bwana hey, kwa nini unanunulia mautipoti wakati niko nayo mm. kwanza haya mautipoti umeleta ni yanatoka China wakati mimi ya kwangu natoka Uturuki you know what i mean so na hiyo ina, ina, ina kwa, kizazi kinachokuja kitakuwa kinataka hela tu na hela inawezekana sio hata hard cash like you just do mobile transfer is done. Kwa Rwanda hujakutana na hii sasa hivi kapula mama, mm. unasubiri una, una kapula mama, unaona wanakuja tukina mama mikono mitupu pale wana basha yao. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. It is happening. Yeah. Kapula mama. Mimi ni shekhi kwenda kwenye oh. shekhi na harusi. Mm. Jamali pata friji hizi? Tatu. Tatu. Wafanyakazi waleta friji. Mm. Eh, mama wadogo alikuwa mtoto wa Kichaga, unajua kina mama wa Kichaga wanakuwa na nguvu sana. Okay. Eh, wanajituma, kina mama wa Kichaga mimi na hapa ongera sana. Eh. Mm. Sure. Bwana wa mama wa Kichaga nao wakaita friji. Alafu kulikuwa sio na marafiki zake pia nao wakaita friji. Jamaa alikuwa na friji tatu. Kwa hiyo I think zawadi za bahasha is a make sense ile anachagua mwenyewe atanunua kitu gani. Lakini what I think yeah. kama alivyosema nadhani Luvanda ni kwamba inategemea na shughuli mm. na class. Kwa sababu kuna zingine kabisa <coughs> na wanakwambia kwamba bwana sisi event yetu mambo mm. ya mazawadi sio vikundi hatutaki. Okay. Yeah. Na wengine yeah. wanasema kabisa kwamba zawadi zitapokelewa mlangoni. And then unauliza kabisa okay, kwa hiyo kutakuwa tusitangaze kwamba uh, vikundi kuja kujiandikisha wanakwambia no. Zawadi zote zitapokelewa mlangoni. Kama ni zawadi zitakazotangazwa pale ni wazazi peke yao that's it. That's it. Na inakuwa mm. ndio hivyo. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Kwa mfano mimi harusi that I did my last uh, wedding ambayo nilifanya. Yeah. They were very clear. <coughs> okay. Walisema no, hatutaki mambo ya zawadi mtio yote mwenye zawadi itapokelewa mlangoni. Well, they were very clear. Nikawauliza, are you guys sure? Wakasema yes to very sure. Wakasema kama kuna mtu ambaye atakuja ambaye atakuwa na pressing need mm. ambaye yani huyu utamuona kabisa kwamba jamani huyu tusipompa hii kwa kweli anaweza akazimia. Huyo ndo tutampa Musa. Lakini wakasema otherwise usitangaze sijui vikundi kujiandikisha we don't want. They were very clear kulikuwa mna kipengele cha zawadi. Okay. Zawadi zote zilipokelewa na that was it